today i discuss about the schizophrenia what is the schizophrenia schizophrenia is the serious mental disorder in which person thinking feeling and behavior are abnormal that is known as schizophrenia is it includes the two phases one is the mania and second is the depression mania means excitation phase and depression means depressive phase loss of the interest of any things yes the schizophrenia associated power past symptom disorientation of the speech behavior and person as uh, this disorder impairment in reality test you know, that person is the fail to perception of reality that is known as schizophrenia the syndrome may be illness corrected by removal the cause of treatment of lying the illness and treated with the antipsychotic medicine next the schizophrenia illness which they associate with the group of symptoms include psychosis and multifactorial etiology it may be genetically it may be environmental it may be accidental cases ya any uh, extreme conditions may be developed to the person of the schizophrenia disorder that is a mental serious mental disorder and social economic dysfunctions required to diagnosis of criteria next characteristic of schizophrenia prevalence of dtc is very low 0.5 to 1% of population past feature early adulthood and the acceptation of cognitive uh, deficient detectable either uh, in a, either uh, early in life okay cognitive factors related to brain memory and uh, the um, it means impairment of the memory and morbidity the depression 30 to 40% Uh, 30 to 50 percent and substance abuse 50 percent and suicidal maybe 5 to 10 percent. Next, the features of schizophrenia: the functional impairment of work, school, interpersonal relationship, self-care are affected by the many symptoms that occur in a schizophrenic person, such as the party symptom. It includes the delusions. and hallucination delusions means false belief and hallucinations means false perception ya sensory perception delusions and hallucinations includes the party symptoms and negative symptom social withdrawal matlab person uh, withdraws from the society and does not like to present to the group of a family or group of the person and after that cognitive dysfunction means patient seizure phenic patient reduce the attention memory verbal fluency and his executive functions that related to the brain and if the seizure phenic person that may be cognitive deficiency and after the disorientation his speech and behavior means they are uh, does not have the agnized speech that is restricted and trapped during the talking behavior and mood of symptoms means depression and anxiety agitation hostility and suicidal mood next after that what is the theory behind the the schizophrenia one theory is the dopamine hypothesis psychosis means over activity dopamine neurons in the meso limbic jo meso limbic dopamine pathway it mediate to past symptom means dopamine ka concentration meso limbic limb mein enhance hota hai so that induce the positive symptoms and dopamine hyperactivities in meso cortical uh, dopamine pathway that mediated the negative acclimatory symptom of the patient means that the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex negative symptom cognitive symptoms and retro mediated prefrontal cortex negative symptoms the symptoms next this is the brain dopaminergic tract that this is the brain and the mesocortical 
pathway, mesocardic pathway, mesolimbic pathway. That discussed in the previous. Mesocardic and mesolimbic. That both are required to a perfect or normal concentration of dopamine. If their concentration are decreases, yeah, enhanced. That induce the symptom of positive and negative symptom of schizophrenia. This is all about the pathophysiology, pathophysiology of the psychosis. And uh, thank you for attention. This is all about the psychosis.